What's up guys and welcome to my channel Tina Weiland Fitness. For those of you who do not know, I am the owner of Tina Weiland Fitness. I am an in-person trainer and online fitness trainer. My goal is to help busy women, probably like yourself, to create the healthy lifestyle of their dreams without giving up the things they love. Things like tacos, margaritas, wine, and we don't have to do burpees to get there either. <laughs> um, so in today's workout, we are going to be doing an upper body workout. You may see, up oh, there's my black cat Binks. He, uh, he loves that new mat amazon basics um we're gonna do upper body dumbbell only um it's gonna be about 20 minutes we're gonna do 40 seconds of work 30 seconds of rest we're gonna do 10 different moves cycle through it again okay one back after the other um it's gonna be a good workout you will be needing a pair of oh where are they here we go lighter dumbbells i recommend and heavier so i have a pair of five and i have a pair of tens <laughs> Um, I would say anywhere for the light, like three to eight pounds and for heavier 10 to 15, depending on your strength and your level. This is going to be for all, uh, levels, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Also be sure to bring some water. I actually have, um, lemon in here. If you want to skip to the workout, skip up, um, a couple seconds forward, but I do want to say this. I'm not sponsored, <laughs> but let me say true lemon. I literally tell everybody about these. Um, as far as nutrition, 10 calories, three carbs, and one gram of sugar for one packet. I usually put two packets in my drink. That's like 28 ounces, um, but it tastes so sweet like lemonade. It helps me get my water in. For those of you who don't like plain water or who craves something a little bit sugary, a little bit sweeter, and it's all natural. I mean, you could look at the ingredients on there. It's like cane sugar. I don't know if you could read it. But it's like lemon, lemon oil, cane sugar, all it is is crystallized lemon. No artificial sweeteners or preservatives, natural flavors, and non-GMO. They have a ton of flavors. I just, I love them. I don't know why more people don't use them. <laughs> um, but that's what I'll be drinking today while we're sweating. All right, you ready guys? I'll see you at the workout. Guys, we're gonna start by laying on the floor. We're gonna do a floor dumbbell chest press. 40 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. When you get into position, I'm gonna use my little bit heavier dumbbells and we're gonna get started. All right, we want those elbows out to the side. Pressing straight up. Make sure we're breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. All right, guys, next thing. We're gonna go onto our stomachs. We're gonna do a buzzsaw plank. So you're gonna be on the forearms, on the toes. We're gonna shift forward and back, kind of like a little buzzsaw. All right, you have about 10 seconds. Good job with that one. I bet you felt that one in the ass. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down. I'm gonna have my legs out in front. I'm gonna do an overhead press. I'm gonna be adventurous and use a little bit of heavier dumbbells. This helps for balance, being straddled, and it forces you to use your core, all right? We have three seconds. Try to keep the chest up, core tight. Can't rely on your legs. 
like if you were standing. I'm kind of regretting these heavier ones. <laughs> 15 seconds though guys, we got it. guys take a little bit of a drink break if you want to but we're gonna go we're gonna grab some dumbbells again I'm actually gonna use lighter we're gonna do standing hammer curl rotate down up rotate down you see how I'm changing every time okay we're gonna be shooting for that five seconds Make sure you suck in that stomach. It should be sucked in when you're doing every move. Keep that core tight. Keep it engaged. And I hope you guys can hear that beep in the background. That's what I mean with the timer. When you hear that beep, just start and go. Just something to keep us on track. Next, we're going to do some bent over rows, so you don't need to be propped up or anything. We're just going to stick our butt back, keep it flat, we don't want it grounded or arched, okay? Just going to row straight back and pinch those back muscles. All right, we got about 10, 10 seconds. You feeling it yet? <laughs> I am. All right, here we go. Remember, breathe out, pulling back. In, out. And since this is time, you can go at your own pace. That's why I like using time, time steps. Really pinch your shoulder blades together. Almost there, guys. Five seconds. Feel that burn. Nice. All right, we're going to do a tricep kickback next. So I'm going to switch to the lighter ones. Same position as the row. We're going to kick back. Try not to swing. We want to keep it nice and controlled, okay? About 10 seconds. All right, here we go. If you want to make it even harder, you can stop about your hip area. Smaller range of motion, but we really get that burn. You have to start and stop. Or you can keep it reaching all the way up. Again, it has to be controlled. We don't want swinging. We don't want, don't want to use momentum. Nice. All right, this one's a little bit 
bit different. It's a standing ab move. I want you to hold the dumbbell above your head. I'm picking the heavier one. And we're going to march. I really want you to focus on tucking that knee into the abs and get that crunch. Okay, we're really gonna feel that. It looks simple, but if you do it right, you should be feeling it, okay? Couple seconds. Two, one, and go. Keep everything nice and tight. We got two more moves in this circuit, and we're going to go through it again, and you'll be done. That'll be 20 minutes. One and rest. All right, we're going to hit the rear delts to the back of our shoulders. We're going to do reverse flies. So butt back, we're going to fly back. A lot of my clients have issues with this one. Try to keep the elbows tucked. Pinching those back muscles together, okay? Two, one, and go. Second round will be hopefully easier because you know what's coming. That might be good, it might be bad. Definitely starting to sweat. You definitely burn less calories doing arms, but it's necessary, right? Get rid of the bingo wings, the bat wings, tone them up. Strength to carry all those groceries after one trip. Two. One and rest, nice. All right, last one of this circuit. Again, I'm gonna pick my heavier. I'm gonna make a triangle like this that gives me equal pressure on both sides. And I'm gonna do overhead tricep extension, okay? Elbows tucked, we don't want them flared. Keep them close and go straight up. I know I'm out of frame here a little bit. Two. One and go. Everything nice and tight. You can also hold two dumbbells together if one's a little bit too easy or you have, you know, weights that don't match what you want to do. to the floor for the dumbbell chest press. Remember, dig that lower back into the mat, suck in the stomach. All right, we got about 10 seconds, guys. Water if you 
right, let's do it. straight up. It's hard when you get tired to not let them sink. Almost. Rest. Nice. All right. Around the world crunches. We remember this one, right? Crunch, bring it around, crunch. Remember to focus on that breathing. Even when you're resting, Are you breathing? 
Are you feeling it where you should? Any movement's challenging if you have enough weight or you do it slow enough, right? We got our kickbacks. Next. We got about 20 seconds. How you doing? You can see the sweat. <laughs> My matted hair. Good job. Feels good to move. Alright guys, five seconds. Here we go. And Our reverse flies. I'm gonna bump up the weight for these. Are you going to bump up the weight? You feeling good? If you're feeling good, try a little bit heavier. Challenge yourself. Final stretch, guys. Two more, two more moves. Okay. Ready? And. Everything nice and tight. Just the arms should be moving. I'd like to show you guys different angles to see how I'm doing it. So like I said this one's tricky. Almost there. 
and rest. Nice, nice, nice. Great work. Um, my Roomba literally started going off to clean um, as soon as I started to try to do a cool down. So I apologize for that. Had to cut the video a little bit short, but next video we will get a full cool down in. But like I said, I'm still sweaty. Definitely a great workout. Like I said, if you enjoy this, share this workout with your friends. Um, tag me on social media or just give me a, a follow, a subscription. Um, happy that you're here and we will chat soon, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.